I've come to see an old friend of mine. I've come to see Sir Terence Conran. <laughs> the first thing I brought is this rather beautiful handmade pot, which is produced by an artist based in Wiltshire named Trish Lowe, who has a terrific reputation and sells her works for significant sums. This particular pot is worth about £20,000. One might think she would be doing rather well out of selling them, but because she only can produce by her own hand two a year, actually she struggles. So when we visited her workshop to talk to her about the process, we noticed that she produced these little test tablets, colour swatches. Trish discards them as worthless. These could be developed into tiles as a collection. Beautiful. Now I think that's a great idea. I'm delighted you like these because yeah. if Trish takes one or two relatively simple steps, but quite radical steps from her point of view, a spin-off business of unknown dimension could emerge. I'm going to um, then change to another project now, which is um, also on a very small scale. It's a recyclable cardboard stick-on wheel. And it seems to me that it has huge commercial potential. Yeah, I mean, it seems brilliant idea, you know, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, an eminently saleable and useful product. So Terence, the third project I wanted to show you this morning is done by an artist. I came across it at the V&A in their Decode exhibition. He's built a machine, it's a prototype machine as you can see in that um, photograph there, and you'll be able to see people in front of that, and if they wave it the screen, the screen responds in a way which ch changes their movements into a flowing artwork. Fantastic. It's really beautiful. There is obviously an opportunity for an organisation to sell innovative design ideas. You know, you can always come to us and we can do a sales job. Why do you think financiers, bankers, business people seem to struggle so much to engage with craftspeople like Trish, back them and assist them to make things happen. They're worried that they'll ever get their money back. Uh, you know, would you invest, they would say, in a company who can't read a balance sheet? Of the three projects that you see here, although they're all very different. Which do you think has the most commercial potential? The one I like best personally is the cardboard trolley because I think it's a really plain, simple and useful thing. Is there someone that you know that David could go and speak to that would be able to help him energise his product. I mean, I obviously know the IKEA people well. I know Ingvar Kamprad and, most importantly, his sons. But I think this is a brilliant idea for them and exactly the sort of thing that Ingvar Kamprad would love because it's such an economical solution. <laughs> So here I am again, back at the V&A Museum, journey's end, and along the way I found some great British people with terrific ideas and super potential, and making it is going to help them to make it.